Hey guys, it's Mia. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out this old messy room in our house and turning it into my new and improved film room. Currently, this room is a cluttered mess because for a while I've just been piling all my old junk in it. It kind of reminds me of that one episode of Jesse where they clean out Bertram's room. Yeah, that's kind of what this room looks like right now. The first step I have to take in redoing this room is clean everything out. This is definitely gonna be the least fun thing and I'm not looking forward to it because it is super duper messy and it's gonna take a while. So we should probably get started with that. The first thing I have to do is organize all this old stuff into a keep, organize, and trash section. Now I'm not gonna lie, this took me way longer than I thought it would. When I first started, I was really motivated, but then as the hours were ticking and ticking by, I was like, what did I get myself into? I don't feel like doing this anymore. But finally, after hours and hours, I got everything out, vacuumed everything up, and all we had left to do was pack everything into the truck and take it to either the dump or Goodwill. And finally, after hours and hours, it's all done. When I was in LA, my dad got this whole room redone and unfortunately, I didn't get to film it, but we got all new windows, crown molding. He painted the walls and the door and got new blinds and everything looks so much better. We used to have an ugly orangey fan in here and it was very big and you could see it when I was filming. So I ordered this cool light on Amazon that is amazing. You can change the different color temperatures and it can go super duper bright, lighting up the entire room. And then it can also go in a dim mode for when I'm filming at night and I have my LED lights and stars on. Did I forget to mention I even hung up LED lights? I might have not even said that. Well, I hung up LED lights and it was very frustrating. It took me forever. But finally my dad helped me and we got it to work. Finally. So we have this really nice closet right outside of this room, but it's currently very, very, very messy. So I'm going to finally clean that out so all of my big and bulky camera equipment can go right in there so it doesn't take up space. Okay guys, here is the messy art closet that I'm gonna clean out. And once I have this all cleaned out, I'm going to put my lights, microphones, and all my camera equipment in there so it doesn't take up space in here. I'm also going to be making different piles. This is the trash. This is the giveaway. And then over here we have the bins and all the stuff I'm keeping, I'm going to organize into there. I painted this. I started to paint this, but I never finished. My brother started a painting, but never finished. <laughs> I made this. And this. Throw back to the slime days when I got a bunch of glue every day. This is actually really cute, I like this. I found some of my really old slime. This is from years. Oh, oh God. Oh no, super sticky, Never mind. Let's throw the whole thing away. I'm not even gonna try, it's just gonna be a mess. I have no idea why that's in there. Oh. <laughs> I cut this open for slime because there's little beads in it. <laughs> okay, here's how we're doing so far. I got everything out and now I just need to go through everything and organize. Finally I finished and this is all my art supplies that I had in that entire closet. So I'm glad that I cleaned that out so I can now put all of my important camera equipment into this closet so it won't take up space in my new film room. And finally, after all morning, I finished. If you guys watched the video where I redid the pool house from the house we rented in California, we got a bunch of stuff for there, but now that we don't live there anymore, we shipped it back here to our actual house, and I'm going to be using a bunch of that stuff for in this room. I'm also going to be painting some old furniture and decor we have. This was my mom's idea to spray paint our old decor, so thank you mom for this great idea. You are saving me lots of money. The first thing I'm gonna be painting is this old shelf. I really love the size and shape of this, I just don't like the colors. So I'm spray painting the green part silver, and then I'm going to be painting the brown part white.
The next thing I'm painting is this old rustic window. I really like it, but again, I just don't like that it's brown. And once that finished drying, I flipped it over and started to paint flowers on it. I saw this on Pinterest and thought it was so cute, so I'm gonna do it myself. When I finished the window, I also painted some other things like this brown picture frame. And for the theme of this room, I'm going for really colorful. So I then spray painted a bunch of other decorations that I want to use to make it more colorful. Okay, now that we have everything all cleaned out and painted, it is finally time to start decorating. My favorite part. My mom and I cut out pieces of giant paper to hang on the wall as a test to see what would look good next to each other. And then once we finally had everything where we wanted it, my dad came in and helped us hang everything up. We put all the furniture in, we got the decor situated, and finally the room is all done after over a year. I wanna give a big thank you to my mom and dad for helping me because I could not have finished this without them. So thank you, thank you guys. And now it is finally time for me to show you the finished product. So this is what you first see when you walk into the room. Here we have my main camera and light set up. And right under that we have this cute little flower pot where I hold my main cords for my microphones and lights that I use for every video. To the right of that is this fake plant we got from Target on top of this stand that we've had for years. It's been in my house my entire life. I have no idea where it's from. Sitting next to that is this cute trunk from Wayfair. I absolutely love this because it gives me extra storage and I can use it as a coffee table, foot stand, or bench if I wanted to. Right above that we have an abstract glitter painting we got from Home Goods. We got two on each side. And right under this one we have a dry erase board from Amazon that I can put any filming notes I have for my video that I can see right from the couch. We also got the couch and mirror on Wayfair. Above the mirror, we have a plant holder that I spray painted purple. I forgot to get a plant for it, so I'm gonna get a plant. Don't worry, but it's just not there yet. Under that is my dog bed for my dogs because every time I film, there's at least one of my dogs in there. Like. Right now, here's Ozzy. And right next to the couch, we have a little coffee table to set stuff on and cute little pillows for on the couch. To the right of that, we have my backdrop stand where I can, you know, put a bunch of backdrops. I have more in the closet, but this is the one I have on right now. And behind it is another backdrop thing that I got from an antique store. And finally, coming over here, we have our collage wall with a bunch of random colorful stuff. Here is a nice hanging plant. I got the plant hangers from Amazon, and I hung them up by these little hooks that used to be brown, which I spray painted. Here are these shelves, which I put succulents and moss in. Um, I just thought it looked cute. I got them from Amazon. They are fake, of course, but these two plants here are real. And on top of the other one is a cross with a rock and candle. So that's what we have there. Now under it is another cute little photo that says what I love most about my home is who I share it with, with some flowers and a unicorn and a plant to cover up the outlet. There's really nothing to explain, honestly. It's not like these have much meaning. It's literally just like decorations that I just stuck on the wall. So I don't know why I'm explaining it. Oh, this is to explain that. I painted myself. Yeah, very fun. I uh, got some lemon trees and lemons and 
I, I literally just like threw like a bunch of decorations just to make everything colorful. And I really like how it turned out. Next to my window flower painting is another plant hanger and a moon LED light. I love this. It is so bright and it's a very trendy right now. Under it is another fake plant because, you know, with the boho theme, you gotta get a bunch of fake plants. All of these are just fake, colorful plants, and I love it. Ooh, and this thing is really cool. It's like a light-up lantern, and I just love things that light up, so of course I love this. And under it is a giant succulent with the same pattern as the other flower pot with this flower pot. And then this bigger flower pot, which also matches that, has some more fake flowers. And that was all on the piece that I repainted. Ooh, and I forgot to mention, we also cleaned out the deck. It's really nice to be able to have my filming room right next to this because if I want to go outside, I now have a nice place to lounge out in. And finally, across from our filming room is the closet I cleaned out. It is so nice to be able to have somewhere to put all my filming stuff because it, this would have been very cluttered in that room. And here are the extra backdrops I was talking about and extra lights, microphones, ring lights, tripods, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm just so happy I cleaned out this closet because it's keeping me so much more organized. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I hope you like my new filming setup. It was definitely worth the wait, especially for not spending a lot of money on it. Like everything used, I basically already had at home. Having a designated film space to just be able to sit down and film is, oh, it's gonna be so nice. Also, I was thinking of making a podcast. I have a lot of stuff I wanna talk about with like, mental health and body image. So I was thinking of making a podcast where I could talk about stuff like that, talk about stuff that's going on in my life, have some YouTuber friends come on as guests. I think I would really like it. Um, just comment below, would you guys be interested in that? I'm so happy to finally have this room done. It's very cozy and just whenever I walk in here, it's just so bright and everything's so colorful. It's just like, it lifts my spirit. Well, that's it for me. Thanks again for watching. Bye.